Okay, so what I have here is the rear spring off of a Model T. And what I'm going to be attempting to do in this video is reverse the main leaf. You can see this main leaf comes down here and these spring eyelets um, roll underneath it. What a lot of people like to do is have this spring eyelet on top of the main leaf instead of below it. Um, and what that does is it lowers the whole, whole chassis by a couple inches. Um, that's, it's fairly easy to do on front springs um, like this that just kind of have a, a very consistent general bow to them. Um, you just bend the spring the other way. It's a little more tricky though on these springs that have this high arch in the middle. Um, but I'm going to try to do it. I've never done this before. Um, so I don't really know what I'm doing. I have seen it done online though, so I know it's possible. Um, so what I have here for my setup is got this, this is a pipe bender from Harbor Freight that I have modified. I've got those these pins across in there with some some piece of steel there just to have it a flat spot on the bottom there. I made this little tool to go on top of the ram here. Um, so this is what I'm going to put the spring in between there and just kind of um, work it into shape. And hopefully I can get it completely reversed so that those spring eyelets will be on top instead of on the bottom. All right, so I made a template here of the curve that this spring has so I can use this for reference um, as I'm bending it. And I also made some other reference lines here about two inches apart that I can use um, to try to make sure that I bend it evenly on both sides. So now I'm gonna try to actually bend this. All right, so I've been at this about 50 minutes now, and you can see I've got this side pretty well straightened out there. I lay it down on that template there. This side's pretty, pretty well straightened. So now I'm gonna go straighten this bend out, and then I'll move on to this middle arch. All right, so now I got this other side straightened out and once you get a feel for how the metal moves it goes a lot faster. That second part um, only took me about 15 minutes and it turned out really nicely. So now I'm going to um, flatten out this middle hump here and this is where you have to be careful because if this is going to crack it's going to crack um, right between this bolt hole right there. So what I made, which is probably unnecessary, but I made this piece here which just has that little bolt in there on this piece of metal and that goes right there and then I have a washer and nut that go underneath there and then this will this will strengthen that that bolt hole right there to make it much less likely to crack so I'll tighten this on there and then we'll straighten out this middle piece
All right, so I've been at this for a pretty long while now. Um, after I got everything flat, I just kind of kept going, and now I, you can see I've got this central arch there, um, but the other way, you can see these spring eyelets here are now on top of the spring instead of um, below it. And this lines up with that template I made really nicely there. So now I'm going to make a couple marks here and put in these other two bends to flare these sides out. Six and a half hours later. Alright, so I just got to the point where I'm 95% done with this now. What I was doing here is this flat part on each side here, I pretty much didn't touch at all this whole time, um, but I do need to put a very slight bow in it, um, arch that upwards very, very slightly. And so I was doing that, I did that to this side, I was doing that over here when I found, I don't know if you can see it there, but there is, there's a crack right there. I put that little bolt under there so you can see it, but it runs almost halfway through the spring. And I am positive that that did not happen as a result of me bending this because pretty much from here over, I did not touch at all. There's no reason it would crack right there anywhere up in here other than if it was already like that. And I definitely didn't hear any high-pitched pings while I was bending this that would indicate a crack forming, so that really makes me mad though. I've been down here <laughs> over nine hours um, and I was just just finishing up when I, when I saw that, so um, I hope at least this can prove to you that this can be done if your spring isn't already cracked. But overall, it, it, turned out, it turned out pretty nicely. It takes a lot of finesse um, to get them to line up really nicely. Um, it'd be very hard to do if you didn't make a template like this beforehand. And I also used this other spring that sits right on top of the main leaf um, as a template as well to get that to line up with that. So, so this is just a quick video showing you this process, how you can do it at home with pretty simple setup. Um, so that's all I have for you this video. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.